So, Amber Gray, we live with my four boats and about another hundred boats of my sea gypsy friends and fishermen friends on the Malacca Straits in the Andaman Ocean, which is the traveling path of the sperm whale, which if you know what ambergris is, you will know it is from the carcass of a sperm whale, which has eaten a giant squid. And this is something that covers the sperm whale, the, the, the squid as it's being digested. And it's what the perfume industry uses. There's different kinds with different looks. It's what the perfume industry uses to make Chanel number no. five and other kinds of perfume. And so, one way to test ambergris is, so it's not pumice stone, is use a needle test or to, if you want to be very wasteful like this, we have kilos of it, is to burn it. Whoa, and smell it, yeah? Mmm, and it should smell musky. This is real ambergris. Sells at 2.8 million baht a kilo on the industrial market. They'll give you less for that if you sell it to middlemen who sell to the perfume industry. We sell that direct from the seller. Different kinds of ambergris. Money back guaranteed if you're not satisfied. Look at that. Shit. There's about $100 there just in powder. The thing is we have kilos of it because we have fish finders and we know the migration path of the sperm whale. So we're testing because ambergris has different types and different prices for black ambergris, white ambergris, red ambergris. Yeah, it's different parts of the squid and uh, mostly found in New Zealand before till now, but now they travel up through the Malacca Straits, past Phuket, along the Andaman Ocean, a certain route I'm not gonna tell you, because they end up in Madagascar, which is why black ambergris from Madagascar is one of the products you'll see on the market. But actually this black ambergris is the same ambergris you'd buy from Madagascar because it's from the same whale that goes to Madagascar. It's just before it got to Madagascar, when it's passing my house, which is in front of Pipi Island with Phuket in front of me. And we have to drive out past Phuket where the whales are traveling. And when a whale carcass opens and the ambergris floats up, then, or sometimes on the beach even, a whale washes up and we take the ambergris. And we don't sell to middlemen. What we do is we sell at half the price of the market, which is 2.8 million baht a kilo. Depending on the ambergris, you might pay 47 to hundreds of dollars for half a gram. Yeah, usually half a gram, half a gram you can pay, usually for most types of ambergris about the $50 rate. Yeah, for raw ambergris. And it's used in the perfume industry, but to sell it by the kilo for good quality ambergris, it's 2.8 million baht a kilo, which is roughly about $90,000 in the moment, in 2022. And uh, we'll sell it at 1.4, which is half the price. Not satisfied, not real ambergris. We'll give you your money back, guaranteed. We'll do the tests for you. And uh, if we can find a place to do certification, we'll get it certificated as well. But uh, those who collect ambergris should know what they're doing anyway. If not, they wouldn't be collecting it and paying those prices. So if you're an ambergris collector, a serious one, and you know what real ambergris is, you'll know when you get it, if it's real or not. We guarantee money back and half the price. So if you're buying at $50 a gram for a certain type of ambergris, if we have the same type of ambergris, we'll sell you it at 25, uh, sorry, for half a gram. If you're paying $50 half a gram, we'll sell it the same type of ambergris at 25. If you're paying $100 to have a gram for a special kind of ambergris, we'll sell it to you at 50. If anybody in the perfume industry is interested in buying wholesale the lot, not the lot, but every time we have kilos of it, then we will sell at a reduced price from that as well, of course. And there you go, real ambergris, 
If you don't agree, argue. If not, then enjoy. This is real ambergris. And this is probably about maybe a kilo together. So you're looking about $90,000, which from us, you're looking about $45,000. By the lot, $40,000. So just to finish this clip, I'm gonna do some, you couldn't see me smelling before, you just saw me burning. So it's the same piece. Oh, it's already smoked. Mmm. Excuse me. Mmm. Actually, you don't have to burn this piece. Even though uh, he's had this for me, Yogi, Nan Torai, Sydney. Light be, Light be, Many years he's kept it. Yeah. So it's quite dry. People would say if you scrape it and it's crumbly, then it's probably pumice stone. <laughs> but pumice stone, if you burn it, it's not going to start bubbling and melting and let off a smoke. That's very wasteful. What you should do is heat a needle till it's red hot, put it in, pull it out, and if there's a drip on it, yeah, and it smells, that's a good sign. You can also waste a lot more by putting some in a spoon, quarter of a gram maybe, heating it until it melts, yeah completely liquid, it will be reddish brown black, and then dip your fingers in it, get the extra off on the spoon, and rub your fingers together until it's covering your fingers, and then start going like that. And if you see a strip of oil, and it smells very musky, huh? Musky means not perfume, but if you put a tiny drop with all of the other chemicals they use in perfumes, this is what makes the smell of a nice perfume last long, right? Look, my hair looks like a crazy professor. Which is why an ex-monk and Rusi also knows about ambergris and gems and gold and all sorts of... Rusi, anyway, uh, ascetics, they understand the elements and the powers within the elements. So here's another piece. I'm going to try this one now. This is more of a red orange. It looks like amber. Because sometimes you might have amber from a tree floating in the water or washing up on the beach. So I'll tell you. So this one burns. This one is much older, takes a bit longer. And it does have a, um, a perfumed smell. But the perfume smell compared to this one, I would say this one, and it shouldn't have a perfume smell, it should have a musky smell really, it has a musky smell. But this musky smell is a bit perfumed, yeah? So this could be amber or ambergris. I'm going to test it further with further kinds of testing that are more scientific. I think it's ambergris, but I'm not sure. This one I'm completely sure, yeah? Because Ambergris of this kind, I call it white ambergris, but it's very old, many years, and it has, um, as you can see, black in it. But some people say beware of pumice stone, because pumice stone is porous, and it'll have this holy texture. But pumice stone, it floats on the water, right? But pumice stone... Mm, does not melt and smell musky like that. And that smells like the mask that after a girl walks past you wearing opium perfume. The linger afterwards. That's the mask. And that is why opium perfume is so popular because it lasts so long. Because they use a lot of ambergris in opium. More than in Chanel number no. 5. There's more alcohol in Chanel number no. 5 than ambergris. Although Chanel number no. 5 remains and probably always will being one of the most you have number nine as well, yeah? Which will have more ambergris in it. So, but opium, I would say, for the price of opium, it's one of the best perfumes because I can smell the ambergris in it. And I know that's what, I always used to like to use opium. I don't know if it's for girls or men. I used to use it when I was a, a young kid because it would last all day. And that's because of the ambergris. And this is white ambergris. If it was pumice stone, it wouldn't be melting and giving me some smoke to smell, right? So here's some black ambergris, yeah? Black ambergris. 
because a squid when sometimes you'll see the squid's beak pointing out even but rarely because it'd be a giant squid so if you do it'd be a big beak so most definitely ambergris most definitely ambergris most people do, not sure yet if you ask the middlemen go to their websites and look at their youtube channels and stuff they'll tell you oh that's a good sign you can send it to us so they'll tell you to cut this piece off which is worth about ten thousand dollars or something or five a few thousand dollars and then they'll send you a letter back saying no it's not ambergris so they will renounce this piece to get a thousand people a month to send them a little piece like this worth ten thousand dollars then tell you it's not real but they'll keep that piece which gathered together from 10,000 people a month who send them a piece is $10 million. And they sell that to the perfume industry. But they will all, nearly always tell you, unless you've already got your connections with them, if you're just a person who's found it once, they'll rip you off. Yeah. So we sell this at half the price. Yeah. You look up the prices of ambergris, white ambergris or red ambergris. Yeah. This also... It's, you can see on this side, it's like resin. Yeah, can you see like resin, shiny? And here you can see it's, you could think this could be bark resin or something, yeah? Could be amber, so let's have a look. It's so shiny here. Let's, oh. Oh, that's amber gray, not amber. Because I used to have amber as a kid and I used to burn it because I liked the smell of amber. And that is not the smell of amber. That's amber grey. That's amber grey. Yeah, and so, uh, one more piece of a black amber grey mixed with some white amber grey. So it will be a crossover where part of the piece of amber grey was going white into black. You have red. You have different colours. And... Uh, Amber grey. Let's find a black piece. Oh. Any... Oh. Ampandam. Oh. Ampantaledam. Oh. I'm talking with my fisherman friend. This is his, not mine. This is not my sale. I am helping a very poor man who lives in a wooden hut who I just bought a boat for because he's a fisherman and he doesn't have a boat. So all they can get his fish this big because he's fishing from the side of the ducking water and I've known him for 20 years and I came into some money. How can I sit next to my poor friend for 20 years? I can sit there at first. A wealthy person, semi-wealthy person with a poor friend. Can, a wealthy friend and a poor friend can sit together. But if 10 years or 20 years pass and one guy's still wealthy and the other guy's still sat there poor as heck, something wrong. Why didn't they help him? So, help me to help him. If you're an ambergris collector and you know what I'm talking about, you'll believe me. If you don't, and this is new to you, you'll be interested in looking further because this is not the last video I'm making. This is the introduction that Spencer, Ajahn Spencer is not an Ajahn just of occultism, Thai Buddhism and amulets and Rusiism and stuff like that, yeah, and Qatar chanting and a political and uh, anarchist and political and human rights activist and a knowledgeable person on science and blah 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 all the things they talk about Amber Green because in the end I'm a pirate grew up on an island with my own boat I'm back on an island with four of my own boats and none of my friends are foreigners they're all sea gypsies and boatmen and we're crazy about fishing I don't kill fish but my boats I take them fishing and we find ambergris, and we know what is ambergris. And here is where the ambergris is, more than in New Zealand these days. Because they go up the Andaman Straits, past us here, on their tra trajectory to Madagascar and beyond. They go up through the Indian Ocean, past the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, past Bangladesh, down one side of Africa to Madagascar. Or across under the Nicobar Islands but they definitely go past Phuket and that's where we go out with a fish finder to find them. And we'll be going out all the time 
but right now we have many many kilos of fresh and old people they can't sell it here they're poor as heck but we have kilos of ambergris here tens of kilos and they get ripped off no they won't sell it to anybody because they don't trust anybody to buy it here they get ripped off they've been ripped off they get told to give them a piece 10,000 people give them all a piece of test my friend here sent a sack of 100 pieces he had a little piece of each piece they send him a thing back and letter back saying it's all not real but the hundred pieces they got from him that was about a kilogram so they already made a hundred thousand dollars it's worth it to tell them it's not real and not buy anything from them and make a hundred dollars just sat there saying things are not real and do that all week every week every day with everybody who come and give you a hundred pieces to test you're making a hundred thousand dollars two or three times a day they're ripping you off you want to agree buy straight from the person not from the middleman guaranteed send it back money back guarantee you i swear on my life my son's life my mother's ashes yeah my own existence and my future chances to going to a nice place if there's anything after life that i will give money back if you buy ambergris yeah as a i will only sell in the moment for my friends to help them to people who know ambergris not to people who don't know it but if you don't know it and you're saying okay i'll go get it tested and if it isn't you give me my money back i'll say sure i will and i swear on my life i will and i would recommend what you do is you buy half a gram so i'm interested in this piece you photo it you remember it we number it yeah can't make two pieces the same we cut a piece off on video we send to you you test it we can send you a test we, he's willing to send a test a tiny piece mm. maybe up to less than half a gram almost half a gram go meeting kring gram yom song hey top top mate yes he's willing to send so if you want to try a piece of ambergris and you can prove you're an ambergris collector you're serious about it he will send you up to almost half a gram of any piece you're interested in so you can test it first and then if you want it we'll sell it to you so if you want to help me to help my friends yeah they'll give me some money if they sell it for sure let's try the last piece with this white ambergris Whoa. I have to do the scratch test. Mm. This just smells so good. It's so good that uh, it's more perfume than musky. My friend's saying, this smells better than all of them. I'm going to tell him yes. But that doesn't mean it's ambergris. Why, this ambergris, if this is ambergris, this one's really expensive. Because it's musk, it's very, very strong. According to my views. I'm not expressing the views of the industry. The industry will give you different values and opinions on which is better and which is more valued the same as a picasso or a renoir will be given different values in truth it depends on your preference not on what the expert says yeah but for the perfume industry the perfumes they make they will have their preferences yeah so i will confirm this as ambergris in the next video i make about it hopefully if i remember in the moment i'm saying it's ambergris but it it's not wax it's not wax but it melts like it's mm. it melts instantly like wax and it has such an aroma that um well i don't know what to say i'd like to continue this in the next one because I'm going to make some more detailed investigations on this one, specialized in the study of yellowish white ambergris, right? Of this type. 
and comparing it with the things you can mistake it with. Because that's the problem with ambergris. There are hundreds of people who think, thousands of people think they have ambergris and they don't. They have a piece of wax, a piece of pumice stone, a piece of tar, a piece of rubber tire, right? You burn that and something comes off and they say, oh, that's musky. It's like wine tasting. You ask a wine taster how many years, he'll tell you at least a decade. As a tattooist, to be able to tattoo any skin on any person professionally, at least a decade. And to learn your art, at least a decade under a teacher. Yeah. So if you smell three pieces in three days, forget it. You have to smell these for 10 years. You have to do the tests for 10 years. And you have to have seen real and fake and compared them over years. Same with amulets. That's how I learned about amulets, rubies, yeah, and other things I know about, like lai and other stuff, if you know what I'm talking about. Because most people watching this are probably more interested in ambergris if they're not a subscriber. So, there you go. Ambergris, yeah? Ambergris. <laughs>